Welcome to the mailbag. So I had a couple letters come into my P.O. box, so I'm really excited to show with what you got. Um, just a little bit of a heads up, this Wes right here, this is from my buddy. So um, I was really excited to see that, but I really want you all to check out the uh, the back side of the uh, the envelope. It's pretty cool. We got Commander, Legendary Creatures, Mythic Rare, a bunch of stickers on there, so that was pretty cool. So let's go and take a look at what my buddy decided to send me. And um, hey, I noticed you had a misplay in one of your videos. Here, this should help. If you can see that. And then Stab Wound, how to play. Okay. Thank you, Wes. Much obliged. I really appreciate that. Uh, like I mentioned, this is uh, from my friend. So... Uh, my friends like these. Uh, but this is the pack that he sent me, so I'm really excited about this. He sent me a, a zombie card, which is really cool. Totally lost. I love this. I'm at, in fact, I'm, uh, I'm doing a uh, Return to Ravnica, uh, kind of working on a campaign setting. And sorry if I'm working on the... I'm still... This is my first time doing a mailbag, so I'm kind of working on making sure that I have the uh, the camera set up right. Uh, but I am working on Return to Ravnica uh, Dungeons & Dragons setting. We, you might be seeing him somewhere in the Dungeons & Dragons. So we got Orcish Conscripts. That's... Uh, Finger in his nose. That's definitely my buddy. He likes to pick his nose. Goblin mine. And also, we may see a couple goblins in this pack, but my friend is a huge, a huge fan of goblins. So we get goblin mine, and we have uh, Warren, goblin rogue. I always really enjoy seeing the uh, the black goblins. It's always pretty cool. Goblin shortcutter. Looks pretty good. I like the art on that one. It's always, uh, he's very inviting. We got goblin rough rider uh, riding the, uh, what is that? It looks like a salamander or something like that, if you really want to take that in. And then we got, oh, goblin arsonist. Okay, I love goblin arsonist. So uh, with goblin arsonist, he He's, um, I built a goblin deck. When I first got into magic, I built a ton of tribal decks. And then Goblin Arsonist was one of the uh, my favorite goblin cards to get down because if one dies, it deals one damage. It's got that bomb on top of his head. I don't know. It's just flavor-wise, it just makes me real happy. I've always really enjoyed that card. Goblin Tunneler. Okay. I think I actually had Goblin Tunneler in there because I think I got in around M11. If I remember correctly, actually, I'm not sure, but I do remember at least having that unblockable power tube. Zombie token, very nice. Always needed some of those. Ooh, look at that. Magic after dark, Lich King. At the beginning of each player's draw step, the player draws an additional card looking just like the Lich King. Um, now, I always think of, um, <laughs> as you can tell with Magic after dark, you may have noticed that I kind of use, if you're a fan of Adventure Time, you may have seen that the... Uh, I use the, the Lich King as my like little neon logo. If you wonder where that came from, that's exactly what it is. But it's always really nice to see this. And I think this is, yeah, it's just a little cut out, but in front of a piece of paper. So, hey, if you got a cool card art like this you want to see in me, go for it. And then also, uh oh here's an old card my wife find in her attic. I only want new cards, so <laughs> let's see. Oh, there we go. Black Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> a two-two bear black lotus. This is the best. You can put it in cube, and so you can have the <laughs> you can have the three mana, and then you can pull it up and then uh, attack with it too if you need to. So let's see what's behind it. Uh, I got a little lizard right there, root walla. So, well, I'll definitely be throwing this into my cube. And if you have some like goofy proxies you want to send me, go for it. I, I would. Uh, I love getting stuff like this and. It makes for a nice story to have it in my cube. So that's for my buddy Wes. I really appreciate that. I really like the uh, the stab wound. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty funny on that one. Let's get that uh, moved over to the side. But uh, Wes is actually my only, pretty much my only commander buddy that we play in paper. Uh, we need to play some more, but... Um, it's kind of the uh, the stab wound thing. Now, this came from Dyson. Um, I'm not going to use your name. I'm not going to put your address on there. And then um, Dyson actually wrote me a really nice letter. And I'm not going to read it um, simply because... I don't know if some people want their letters to be read or what, but long story short, I will paraphrase what he said. He did mention that he plays a lot of Magic online and that his favorite um, his favorite two decks of mine are Gonti and Unesh, and that if I'm ever up in his area, that we should play again sometime. So let's see what he sent me. We've got the... Uh Oh, very nice. Bird token. Yeah, if you want to sit, like, seriously, you don't have to send me magic cards. Like, I love hand-drawn tokens. Like, I used to go to the card store on Friday Night Magic, and uh, the lady, uh, the um, the woman who worked the counter, she'd always draw cards to pass the time while we played Friday Night Magic. And so she'd draw a token, and then she gave it to me one day. She drew an angel token, and then I'll show it in another video sometime. But, uh, yeah, she gave me the angel token. I thought that was really nice, and uh, that kind of made me want to start doing hand-drawn tokens for my, my cube. So if you don't want to send me magic cards, send me a... You know, three or four hand-drawn tokens. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. Ooh, foil Gonti. Look at that. Now, that is one of the fun things about... Because um, I have... Bas I mean, I have a paper collection... But I don't buy paper cards. I, I never buy them. Buy them very rarely. And to get like a foil version of the uh, one of my favorite decks, it's always really nice. Look at the uh, 
the kind of the different, uh, like the railing and the stuff in the background looks really good. And let's see what this last one, ooh, ooh, Nash value train. So I like that. And the cool thing about this is, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not asking for, I don't want you to send me super expensive cards, but like little stuff like this, that's really cool, man. That, that's really neat. And so now, like I promised, I'm a man of my word. Uh, we're going to be sending some tokens, some of these jolt cards back over to them. So, and I think for the first one, let's go and do Unesh. And so once again, shout out to Eli over at uh, <laughs> Magic Stronghold for giving me all of these uh, jolt cards. Like I originally looked on like TCG player to like find jolt cards. And I was like, let me just ask Eli. I bet he's got a ton of magic cards sitting over there. And so, but yeah, got a ton of, uh, I don't, I'm not really sure. This is actually the first car altar that I've ever done. So I will be, uh, you know, kind of a little experiment. It'll be a little thing that we can do together. I never, typically I don't like to draw on cards, but, um, given this, the scenario, it'll be something fun for us to do. So let's go ahead and let that kind of just dry for a little bit. And while we do that, since my buddy sent me a goblin token, um, well, actually since a bunch of goblin cards, I think we might end up doing like a, uh, some sort of goblin. So we need green for goblin. And then what color background would go grid? Actually, we'll do that. I think that's going to be... Yeah, that should look strong enough right now. So we can go ahead and go off of that. And on this one, let's go ahead and get a... Uh, if we're going to be doing the UNES space value train, we need to definitely be drawing that. So let's go and grab... Uh, picked up some markers today. I'm really excited about that. And let's go and just draw the uh, UNES value train. <laughs> I always just love... Like, some of my favorite things in doing the UNES value train is... Uh, Whenever we start to get those tokens going, not tokens, but, uh, sorry, there we go. All right, whenever we get the, uh, we get like a ton of triggers entering the battlefield and I get to do like the announcer voice, oh, that feels pretty good. <laughs> always love that. And it's funny because I always forget about doing it, which I don't like, don't like that to happen, but, um, sometimes it does. And, uh. That's definitely one of my favorite things to do within that. So we're going to go and draw a couple little uh, little wings on here. I think that looks pretty good. Look at that. Get it filled in. I love these these metallic markers. They just do such a good job of uh, kind of filling that in. And let's see if we can't kind of go over that middle part. It looked a little bit streaky. I'm still kind of getting the hang of it, but at least we'll just fill it in. And that'll look pretty good on that. And we'll... Uh, I got some black one. Black one will look good for the engine because that... Just kind of color that in black, and then we'll do a little bit of different stuff like that. And then as far as the design goes, let's go ahead and I think we can do a little bit of blue on there. That looked pretty good. Got to do blue if we're doing the Unesh value train. So let's do a little bit of a racing stripe going across. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It works out really well. And we definitely need to draw Unesh a cockpit, so we'll definitely get that going. Right there, <laughs> where the value train is operated out of. And of course, it would not be outer space with some stars out there. So we'll get the... Actually, we need to write Follow Your Dreams on here. That'll look good. Your dreams. <laughs> I had so much fun doing that... Uh, <laughs> doing that thumbnail, too. I was like... Because I didn't know how I wanted to do the thumbnail itself. And... Uh, Somebody, like, I just mentioned it as the, the value train, and uh, I was like, I don't know. And then I started to look on, like, Google for, like, a vector, or, like, a vector is basically just, like, clip art. And so I started to look for a vector, like a space vector, or, like, a train or whatever, and I came across Thomas the Train Engine. I was like, I, I know, I can just stick Unesh's, uh, <laughs> his nice little head on there, and it'll look pretty good. So let's get the, uh, get the flames coming out there. Oh, yeah, that is looking good. Do a little bit of orange to get that kind of mixed in right there. That way you can always follow your dreams into outer space. There we go. I'm just going to sign this one real quick. But yeah, if you want to send me some cards, I'll kind of draw something on there. And uh, definitely send it back. There we go. Follow your dreams on the UNESH value train. So hopefully, if you keep sending me cards, I'll keep getting better at drawing this stuff. So let's kind of crack a, get an attempt at doing a goblin off of this one. Like I mentioned, my art skills are a little suspect on some of this, so we'll try our best. Now, for the goblin, I guess we're going to start with some ears. And on this one, I think what we'll try to do is maybe fill in the background later. So let's start with some ears. Let's make this face a little bit more symmetrical. Now that I think about it. Kind of a jagged look. I think goblins tend to have like a little bit of a jagged face to it sometimes. We'll go out for the ear. 
go out for that ear. And let's go and go. There we go. Let's get this filled in just a little bit. And these wide chisel uh, markers actually work out really well. Uh, the only downs, I need to pick up some of the fine point ones to kind of get in there, but it'll do in a pinch to kind of smooth out some of these edges just to kind of get that going. There we go. It almost looks like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Let's, there we go. I think that's it. We need to get a point on here. That, that would probably help make it look a little bit different. There we go. Ooh, I know. We can give the goblin ear. I always like it when goblins have earrings. That was always pretty cool. Let's get that filled in just a little bit more. So that's kind of taking shape as far as what a goblin's going to look like. And then let's go ahead and get the, uh, let's go ahead and get silver. Why not? Let's go ahead and put an earring in there. I'm going to put two on this side. Why not? It's our own little goblin. We can kind of do whatever we want with our own goblin. Maybe he has a gold earring too up here. He's the black sheep of the family. And then let's go ahead and do one more. Why not? Let's do a silver one. Up here, okay, and then let's go ahead and draw his. Um, I don't. Let's see if the. Uh, I don't know if some of these colors will come up on there. See if this orange will kind of like actually look good on there, as far as the eyes go. Oh yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a little dark, but it looks pretty good. And we can just kind of fill it in with some detail. Draw that little nose right there, and let's go, just go ahead and use this silver pen as uh, some accent mark right there. <laughs> it always feels like I'm drawing like a little cartoon. <laughs> Oops, sorry for that camera. I'm also in the market to get a new camera too, so we can get that going. But that that's uh, a little suspect, but it'll do. <laughs> one one gerblin. There we go. And I'll work on uh, somehow getting some different stuff to work as far as some of this stuff goes. But yes, like I mentioned, we do have the uh, P.O. Box over on the side. If you want to check it out, I will send you a little joke card in the mail back to you. And if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed me scribbling on magic cards, hey, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.